Hi, welcome. I'm Jen with Genco Designs, and today's video we're going to talk about the new shape tool presets in Affinity Designer 1.7. We got a lot to cover, and I'm going to try and give it to you really quick, so let's just jump right in and get started. Now, here's my, I call him my little spy guy. I built him out of just using the basic shapes, okay? So just an example of, of what you can do with just basic shapes. We'll go ahead and turn him off so we have some room in our work area here. So when I'm talking about shape tools, what am I talking about? Well, we're talking about these shape tools in your tools panel over here on the left-hand side. There's a rectangle, there's a, an ellipse, there's a rounded rectangle, and if you click that little gray arrow right there, there's a whole another selection of all the different shape tools. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways to use the presets. Okay, so let's just start with those. We're going to select our uh, cog tool. So you select the tool, then you come into your workspace, click and drag out your shape. Okay, now shapes are kind of identified in Affinity Designer by having these red dots. Okay, so you can adjust the shape by clicking and dragging on the red dots. Okay, and you'll notice it gives you these uh, red lines or give you a, um, if you can see that little uh, shaded area there, it gives you the like the parameters of what you can adjust there. So that, so I've created a unique shape. Okay. I started with a shape tool and I create a unique shape. So now I can turn this into a preset, but first let me show you, we're going to go ahead and keep that selected. Let me show you how to apply a preset. So let's go to our context toolbar, which is the toolbar across the top of your workspace. And we're going to select this little gear button. And this is the preset menu. So we have our shape selected. We can go ahead and just apply any one of these presets to our shape. For example, we can apply this one. Just click it and drag it and we'll turn your shape into that preset. And it still has all of these red dots that you can still adjust. So that's one way. You can create the shape and then apply the preset. You can also just go to your shape tool. Let's go to like, for example, we'll go to the diamond tool and then we're just going to go directly up to the presets. And there's some presets here. Now, now the ones with the uh, little triangle, those are the affinity designer ones. When you create your own preset, it'll look like that, have a little person there. So we have that selected. Let's just click and drag in our workspace and it will drag out that preset. Okay. So that's the other way. So now we'll go ahead and just adjust this a little bit. Say we want to do that and let's create our own preset. So we're going to come back up to our little uh, preset menu and we'll go ahead and click the little uh, menu bars there and we'll create a preset. Now I'm just going to call this one the special one. Okay. And this time I'm going to put it in a category. Okay. I have my own category and select create. And now you notice it puts it in a category here. Now I will tell you, I have other shapes in this category, but they don't show up. You're only going to see the shapes for that particular shape tool. Okay. You're going to only see the presets for that particular shape tool is what I should say. Okay. When you have this shape tool selected. Okay. So that's two ways to do that. So now let's go ahead and I'll show you if you just go, say we select the triangle tool again, we're going to go up to our presets. If you select this menu bar and we hit manage presets, now you have all of the different presets. Okay. So there is all of the different presets and including on the bottom, it has all the ones that you've created or whatever categories you put them in. Okay. Now I also created some ones up here that I created. This is the tie that I made for the little spy guy. And this is the way I created his uh, hat. So I used the uh, call out. Okay. So that's the shape presets. So you can create a unique shape and you can save it as a preset. Okay. So now why is this important? So in Affinity Designer, there's kind of a difference here between shapes and what I'm going to call objects. Okay. 
they're all vector objects, okay? Because that's what Affinity D Designer does in the draw persona, it creates vector objects. But a shape can only be adjusted with the shape parameters, these little red dots, or the things that you can do um, by using the bounding box, okay? If you're using, uh, if you convert it to curves, then you're using the pen tool and the node tool and you're adjusting the shape that way, okay? And the only reason this kind of makes a difference is one, the way you, that you can modify the shape and two is the way that you can save the shape, okay? So as a shape, not an object, but as a shape, you can save it two ways. You can save it as a preset and you can also save it as an asset. Okay, and let me show you. So you saved it as a preset and you still have these red dots, you can still adjust it. But if I wanted to say, say for example, I wanted to save this, uh, this shape as a asset, okay? So let's go up to our view menu here across the top. Uh, you go to view in the uh, menu bar is what that's called. So we'll go down to studio here and, whoops, and we're gonna go over to assets so that we can see our assets panel, okay? So here's our assets panel here on the left-hand side. We wanna save this. Okay, so we're just going to go up here and I have my little category open. We're going to click right here and I want to add from selection. So it's going to add that shape into those assets from that selection. Now to, to use an asset, you're just going to click and drag it over into your workspace. Now that's just the thing I want to point out to you is once you create it as an asset, you no longer have any red dots. There's no way to adjust this except the main uh, things you can do with the bounding box, okay? So you lose the capability to adjust it as a shape. If I want to adjust this shape anymore, I would have to convert it to curves, okay? So just something to keep in mind. You can create the shapes, create them as a shape preset, and you can still adjust them. If you don't want to be able to adjust them, you've created the shape, you're good with it, you can save it as an asset. Okay, so that's the difference of those two things. So that's what I wanted to show you about the new shape tool presets. Not only does it make it quick to get your concept down on in your illustration and improve and in, uh, streamline your workflow, but it really shows you all the shapes that you can make with the presets in Affinity Designer just by using those small red dots to adjust them. So everything doesn't have to be done with the pen tool or the node tool, and you don't have to get into all of that. You can actually just use the shapes, create some great shape tool presets, and you are off to a running start on your next illustration. If you have something you'd like to learn more about in Affinity Designer, hey, let me know. Leave it in the comments section below. I also have a brand new course on Skillshare. I'll put the link in the description below. It comes with a two-month free subscription in Skillshare, and you can watch the course for free. How good is that? Thanks so much for watching. Happy creating, and we'll see you in the next video.